in simple terms what is ex post facto laws okay ex post facto in english means after the fact so which fact the fact of the crime the fact of any action okay um, in simple language what this article basically tells us is that criminal laws cannot be backdated that is the best one sentence understanding of this concept criminal laws remember this is applicable only for criminal laws okay so let's take an example if something is done today okay if a law if a criminal law is passed today if it is made applicable from today onwards okay so today is tarikh hai 5th of october okay if it is applicable from to everything done from 6th october onwards okay then such a law is called prospective law applicable from the date of passage so when a law is said to be applicable from the date on which it was passed it is called as a prospective law okay and the opposite of prospective law is retrospective law which is applicable to actions done before the date of passage so here in simple terms we can say that what article 20 does is that it prohibits retrospective criminal laws that is another way of putting it okay so let's take one example okay uh, the logic behind this is actually very very simple you know for me if i am to be convicted under any for any crime okay the basic common sense understanding is i should know that what i am doing right now is a crime if i am to be punished for it right suppose for imagine that there was no restriction that would open the door for so much harassment right okay. so uh, suppose i am doing something today hmm? i don't know uh, the one very good example is beef ban सो इन महाराष्ट्र इन 2019 थाउजंड एंड नाइनटीन महाराष्ट्र मध्ये गोहत्या बंदी कायदा हा आधीपासून होता काय महाराष्ट्र हॅड बीफ बॅन फ्रॉम लॉंग बॅक बट वॉट वॉज द प्रिसाइस ऍक्शन विच वॉज प्रोहिबिटेड इट वॉज ओनली स्लॉटरिंग ऑफ कॅटल स्लॉटरिंग ऑफ कॅटल त्यामुळे कत्तलखाना चालवणे एवढी एकच गोष्ट होती की जी गुन्हा होती ओके बट दोन हजार एकोणीस मध्ये further actions were added to this um, list of offenses okay among them was sell of meat even possession of meat manje go mouse vikne me kattal see supply chain lakshat gya na kattal khana ek jan chalavto he then we he will then sell the raw meat to the shopkeeper and the shopkeeper will sell it to the customer right so till before 2019 only running a slaughter house where you receive live cattle you kill them and you harvest their meat and then you package it up and then you sell it forward only this was illegal but if you purchased meat from someone else and you kept it on display in your shop you were not doing a crime but in 2019 maharashtra's beef ban law was amended to even make these things a crime so from 2019 onwards if you ran a meat shop where you where you sold cow and buffalo meat even running such a shop or even purchasing cattle meat from someone else okay to maybe cook in your own home because possession is also a crime all of these also were considered as crimes okay now consider for a moment what happened to all those shops which were running from before 2019 okay what happened to all those people who purchased meat maybe who also who also had beef parties in their house 
अँड देर इज ॲम्पल प्रूफ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस त्यांनी सोशल मीडियावर त्याने का आपल्याकडे जे डी जेवायला आलं की चायला खायच्या आधी पोरींना त्याचे फोटो काढायचे असतात आणि मग ते स्नॅपचॅट आणि इन्स्टा आणि ह्याच्यावर असले म्हणजे प्रूफ भरपूर आहे की ह्या माणसांनी बीफ मागवलं होतं त्यांनी ते खाल्लं मोर दॅन इनफ प्रूफ ओके डज इट सीम लॉजिकल कॉमन सेन्स दॅट दिस पर्सन शुड बी चार्ज अँड पनिश्ड विथ अ क्राईम आय होप इट डझंट राईट बिकॉज इफ यू अलाव दिस हे जर चालू दिलं तर उद्या सरकार मनाला येईल तसा कायदा बदलेल आणि आधी झालेल्या गोष्टींसाठी लोकांना रस्त्यावर न उचलायला लागेल की नाही दॅट इज वाय बेसिक द लॉ कंटेन्स अन एक्झाम्पल द लॉ कंटेन्स अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन व्हेअर क्रिमिनल लॉज इफ दे आर एव्हर अमेंडेड और इफ अ न्यू लॉ इज पास्ट विच क्रिएट्स अ न्यू क्राईम इट कॅनॉट बी मेड ॲप्लिकेबल टू ॲक्शन्स बिफोर द डेट ऑफ पॅसेज ओके अँड ही आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट डेट टू कन्सिडर इज the date of commission so the date on which the act was actually committed it doesn't matter when the fir was lodged or when the charge sheet was filed or when the case actually began the date which matters is the date on which you committed that act okay only the laws which were actually in force on the date of the offense will be made applicable to you tumhi ekada kritya karta na cha tarkhela जो कायदा अस्तित्वात आहे तोच तुम्हाला लागू केला जाऊ शकतो त्या तारखेच्या नंतर नवीन कायदा आला किंवा नवीन गुन्हा बनवला गेला तर तो तुम्हाला लागू होणार नाही हॅरॅसमेंट होऊ नये म्हणून सो यू कॅन कन्सिडर रिअल लाईफ एक्झाम्पल्स लाईक सपोज आय वॉन्ट टू टेक केअर ऑफ पोलिटिकल रायवल्स ओके इलेक्शन्स आर अराउंड द कॉर्नर अँड आय एम अफ्रेड दॅट इफ i am afraid that if i um, the person who is probably going to run against me he has a good chance of winning the election and so i want to prevent him from contesting elections i change the law and let go la samor cha mansala and then gone the election gali techi he jhalele there are many examples when criminal laws have been misused for such examples okay? so that is ex post facto laws okay clear any any doubts on this part सो ॲक्च्युली ह्याचं एक एक्झाम्पल तुम्हाला द्यायला द्यायचं राहिलं ॲक्च्युली द एक्झाम्पल दॅट आय एम गिव्हिंग यू इज वेन दिस लॉ क्रिएटेड अ लूप होल ओके सो वॉट आय एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इज द टू थाउजंड अँड ट्वेल्व्ह निर्भया गँगरेप केस निर्भया गँगरेप केस सो इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस पुअर गर्ल शी वॉज रिटर्निंग होम लेट ॲट नाईट इन अ दिल्ली बस and these six monsters she was with a boy they killed they mulga mela ka nahi athat nahi but the they threw him out of the bus and they did all sorts of unspeakable things to this girl who will forever remain unnamed the media has called her nirbhaya okay she died of course later on so what would only have been an offense of rape was now converted into offense of rape and murder which means that now death penalty is possible okay but the problem is that out of those six attackers the the last one okay he was what is called as a juvenile offender so in 2012 the definition of juvenile was that below 18 years of age tumhi jar vay varsha 18 peksha khali aslat tar tumhala kayda vegla lagu asto so generally speaking for juvenile offenses the law is much much lenient okay in simple terms the the highest punishment that you can be given is 3 years not in jail but in a juvenile house okay so it's not called a jail ti ek ti jailat aste ek prakar chi pan ti 18 varsha peksha kami mulancha sathi chi aste ani tikde mag tanna je ayushya madhe janchi vaat vakdi hoti asa vatto tanna line var anna sathi ti jaga vaparli jate so the, the the concept of juvenile law is that humanitarian considerations okay? that uh, when you are growing up okay? you are not as mature maybe you are not as aware of the consequences of your actions 
एंड सो वन मिस्टेक इन योर यूथ शुड नॉट रूइन द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ okay you should be the law today because we are in humanitarian times we believe in giving second chances okay so this is the idealistic scenario okay? but back in 2012 the law basically said that any offender who is below the age of 18 cannot be punished under sections of indian penal code okay unfortunately this sixth attacker he was two weeks short of his 18th birthday okay now even common sense will tell you that at 17 years and 364 days you are completely immature and unaware of the consequences of your action and suddenly 2 days later you are a full fledged adult aisa nahi hota hai okay? especially in the 21st century with urbanization we are exposed to the world much more and so you we can say that uh, kids today they are much more aware of what is happening around them and i think any common sense uh, straight thinking person will agree that you look at the actions of that kid is there any goddamn chance at whatever age you may be can he really argue that i was not aware of the consequences of what i am doing ye jodya ni marla pahije tela but again unfortunately juvenile laws are criminal laws and after 2012 so there was a big hue and cry there were protests on the streets and the government appointed a commission called justice verma commission and they suggested reforms in the criminal law and they gave this argument that the the boundary of 18 years it was designed more than 100 years ago okay so that was a time when information was limited and when people used to mature much much slowly but today in the information age everyone is exposed to the world and so the the threshold of 18 is no longer logical yeah. so after in 2013 this juvenile act was amended okay now the act contains a new category called adolescent 16 to 18 years so any kid who is between the age of 16 to 18 now below 16 years you are absolutely protected okay now below 16 years the maximum punishment is 3 years in a juvenile home okay but now a new category was created called adolescent for the age group 16 to 18 okay and if a adolescent pers uh, person commits what is called as a heinous crime heinous crime so opposite of heinous crime would be petty crime पाकिट मारी कि छोटे मोटे थेफ्ट दीज आर कॉल्ड पेटी ऑफेन्सेस इन जनरल इन क्रिमिनल लॉ एनी ऑफेन्स फॉर विच द पनिशमेंट इज लेस देन सेवेन इयर्स इज कॉल्ड एज अ पेटी क्राइम एंड रेप मर्डर रॉबरी फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज ऑफेन्सेस द मैक्सिम पनिशमेंट कैन गो बियॉन्ड सेवेन इयर्स इन जेल दे आर कॉल्ड एज सीरियस ऑफेन्सेस नाउ इफ अ एडोलेसेंट पर्सन कमिट्स अ हीनस ऑफेन्स then he will not be protected but there will be a preliminary enquiry preliminary enquiry where the purpose is to ascertain whether the kid understood the consequences of his actions preliminary enquiry and see if it is determined that adolescent kid he knew full and well what he is doing and what are the consequences of my actions then he can be considered to be an adult and then the full punishment under ipc bnss now will be given to him okay but unfortunately for us this amendment came after the nirbhaya gang rape case okay? so no matter what the people may want this amendment could not have been made applicable to the sixth monster okay unfortunately for all of us that person's identity is officially a secret okay 
he served three years in a juvenile home and now he is roaming free. Okay? So there were unconfirmed reports a couple of years ago that he has once again started molesting uh, women on the streets and what not. Okay? Let's hope that one day he gets arrested once again and he has to face the full force of the law. Okay? But that bastard, his identity is sealed. Tomorrow when he applies for a job, he does not have to reveal his criminal past. That is the protection given to a juvenile. Okay? As an adult, if you have ever been convicted, you have to declare it in all your applications. So that leaves a st stigma on you. Child is protected from that. This bastard does not have to face any of this. Okay? Now the example is an unfortunately a loophole created by Article 20. But it's a real life example of when Article 20 ex post facto laws were actually in discussion in the news. Okay? So the loophole has now been sealed, but this monster got away with it. Okay? Ex post facto laws.